Timu John Fuller, and I'm in at the host for the Well Body Better Path Gentry program. We are the Sierra Leone Organization of Greater Manchester, and in the Brengan County. Now. This show, these, the medical professional they within this show, they all are volunteered and they volunteer. Nobody you know, they get paid. Um, we do a lot more out of the goodness and likeness for what we do and also for what we do. Them. Today, we they talk about hypertension, high blood pressure. We are Dr. MSI Kamara, we are emergency medicine and consultants in Manchester, and I will deliver to you today. Um, the course, you know, when I see a team, not to me or Dr. Kamara, no more day. We get other people that we do within the team. So I'll go run through quick and tell now who that, who that we get within the team. Then after that, we go start. When we fumble them, I need for caution on as well. Say, dear, this program we're not there for replace on our doctors, them, on our surgeons, them, on our consultants. We only there also for doing a generalized advice. So at least if something they go wrong, wrong with we, we go get the understanding of what they go wrong with we and what we can do for prevent them tear or when we go need for seek help. You know, sometimes they, um, some problem can become worse because we take long for go seek advice. So if we begin understand the symptoms the way the somebody sickness here carry, we'll be able to reach out quick and seek for the right help. We will go, we go make, we get, we will extend the life. So I will go forward now and, ex um, and introduce the team. Then after that, we will start. Unfortunately, we will not get everybody their picture, but as time goes on, I will get a picture. See, then Dr. Mohamed Kamara, now I get for present to her today. So I will go through the list. I will tell you now everybody within the team. Okay, like I see this is an organization of Greater Manchester, and they bring this program to Una, and we all we do am we do am for we benefit with people them. I make we do am in Creole, so I'm um, not to say we say we not have speak English show, but sometimes they wouldn't can explain certain things to we in English. Sometimes the the, 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 interpretation, the interpretation can be confusing, so they encourage people them if you get any question, do you ask? But do you while the person they present, we will ask them you know, ask any question yet. You can ask them by text, but not um, try for interrupt. So we we'll go for mute everybody while in the present. But once you do once well, the presenter are done, done, everybody will get a chance for ask any question you ask and we will try for answer. If now question we will not get answer for or we feel say too personal, we will contact you personally and answer that question day. Okay. So today we get Dr. Kamara when I are the group lead in any tool they do in our life, you get forget a leader. And Dr. Kamara and I are the leader. Um, like I've been saying, an emergency medicine consultant, and I get for present for we today. So when I go see a boku boku, when I go hear voice a lot. Okay. The next person at the team again is Gugia to Kamara, a mental health nurse, and a health visitor. Um, in your own, um, in your way, they play within the team. You go to do more advice on mental health, even though you go to touch on other areas. And my main area of speciality, na mental health. The next person again, I'm Mr. Abraham. He say when I qualify social worker. And also, instead, we touch on mental health and anything regarding social um, social work. The next person we're going to list now is Fatima Kuruma. We're a new product development technologist and registered nutritionist. Basically, the, the kind of food they're way with for the eat. You know, black man, you know. Now, I am Fatima, go the advice we but you go to give you advice who's kind of food for it, how for it. And because of the day, not about the kind of food as well, it's about how they prepare them and about the portion. You know, so Fatima and I are your specialty, then they, they will give you advice on anything and they. And Fatima don't present program in the past, so I will encourage people then for go on our YouTube and search for SLOGM when I slum um, health. If you go look for on our YouTube, you will see all the other sessions they will get there. Next person on the list now, Miss Aminata Jalo, when a clinical pharmacist, you will now for advice we about medication. Who's kind of medicine they will for take? How for take medication? When I get practices, okay, instead we don't present for we in the past, and as we go forward, we will get other sessions then we instead go uh, present. Next person on the list is uh, Ms. Isa Tashaka, instead of a mental health nurse and also a qualified social worker. Um, so instead of the buttress and give you advice on social welfare and um, social worker issues um, and also on mental health. Okay. The next person we get on the list now uh, Mrs. Uh, uh, Fatima Takamara, when I'm auntie, uh, instead of a mental health nurse, but instead of get areas them of a speciality way, if you ask questions, even though you're not related to mental health, given the experience you give advice with. So we get a varied um, um, people in our panel. And the last one, not the least, on the end picture is here. Now, myself, my name is Natimu John Fuller. I've been a business IT consultant. I don't work for a couple of organizations, big organizations in the world. Um, we all within this team now for one, for present, but two, for give the team all the support we they need for them to be successful. We also get other people then within the panel. We get uh, Ms. Um, Dr. Sise, Dr. Aziza Sise, who is now a general and practitioner 
instead go the panel for mm-hmm. give any advice and um, for give advice on thing the way when I go ask again regarding medical issues or medical conditions. And um, we also get Dr. Mohamed today. We're not there with we today, but instead can get at the panel something day for help we for give and uh, for answer questions. Um. Mm-hmm. So me fumble them at the can do now over to Dr. Kamar. However, if when I get any questions or concern or feedback or suggestion, anything when I get, when I feel say maybe you're not going to post them on here, yeah, we they encourage you now when I send them to we by email. If you look at the bottom now, yeah, we email address Dede, slumhealth at gmail.com. We will reply to you personally. If there's something in a personal question regarding medical condition, we will make sure say we, pro- we protect your confidentiality. If there's something in a general question, no more, we will answer you, but also we will make that question they're available and answer available for the general public so that people will benefit. So now, if I'm with them, and they can't mute people them. So they are big, no, not time for ask questions while the show they go on. Okay? Yeah. Okay. You're good to go? Yes, sir. All right. Pambula, I do uh, whatever on a day, when I take it, take it on a journey today. Uh, whether in the morning, afternoon, evening, term, or net, when I welcome to this we session, we the all now uh, fortnightly. Uh, we don't talk for some time now from where this COVID thing then they begin. And so we decide to make way for people them for the then get for no but the body. Uh, you know, sickness as I say, Nigerian an enemy to mortal man. So now make it fine for the we make sure see we help one way or the other for let we improve the health status of the people then. Uh now make we form this group. So we're body, obviously nine past the entry, then they will tabi tabi no different that. We don't talk for but different different topics then. But today when I think say we decide say it's not way very, very important for everybody in the world because it's the cage, well I would say all man, put it that way. And the only person we go exempt from when I will find out just now. Uh, but blood pressure taken from me in a very important subject because it link to everything that the body, from the head to the toe, blood pressure they affect. So now make it fine for me to know how to deal with them. Yeah, so let me crack on because this is a big, big topic. And um, if I, let me, oh boy, if I move, move this thing. Right, okay. So today, you know what they do? Uh, we they look at blood pressure on your own, just an overview, like a summary. Look at the symptom the way uh, you go look for if you get blood pressure. Now, the problem is, <laughs> But good people don't know which are the symptoms of blood pressure. Today, we're not going to find out which thing they cause the blood pressure, how you go diagnose them. And of course, when you go to doctor, doctor tell you, you say your blood pressure high, you find for let you understand which thing they talk about, you know, which are the readings of the blood pressure, whether they're day up or day down. And of course, if you get diagnosed with a hypertension or blood, high blood pressure, you need for let you know how you they treat them. And of course, not only you go treat yourself, but of course, with people them and get the remedy that wouldn't be used, and whether they're helpful or not. Uh, or harmful, we will find out later. And of course, some doctor will either decide for treat you, for what you diet, for what you weight, for what you lifestyle, and then maybe decide, say, uh, put you on medication for start you with. Now that medication, this one, you not go walk, or something, you not go bring the blood pressure down like I want, and so you go for combine one or two, and then you go for change one or the other, and get for increase the, 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 the dose, uh, or it decrease the dose depending on how uh, you respond. Uh, and of course, we, as I talk, I know more, we home remedies them. People are then to use them. Now, whether then they help you or not, we will find out. Then, of course, we get uh, blood pressure in special circumstances. Now, we mama them, we sister them, auntie them, and uh, we girl picking them. Of course, then they get belle, and when they get belle, then they experience this hypertension. So, we did touch on them briefly, because then they are one known subject of you. Uh, I don't think so, we'll go for deal with them deeply. But if I for let people know, say, yeah, when you get belay, possibly the blood pressure can go up and it can lead to some complications where it can affect the baby as well as the mommy. Uh, of course, I don't talk on that. The effect where the blood pressure gets will go up on the body, on all the parts of the body, as I say, it affects the head to toe. And then, of course, ways and means of uh, trying to prevent this blood pressure from go up, or if you get them, how to manage them so that it never will cause you a long term effect. But of course, from the beginning, I mean, fine for low, we know weight in our blood pressure. Now, if you look at the, 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 then vein them, we'll get now, but the artery them. Uh, now, through the 90 blood, they pass. So, uh, the force 
we nain the the heart they use for pump the blood around the body through the vein and the artery them nain they determine within the blood pressure tandem you know so we get blood pressure as we measure them we we'll get the one with the on top if you take the the the, the machine where they measure the blood pressure uh when it don't do in work when you press and pull it work it, it, it push you on and then when you come down you release them you will see say one figure they up and then the other one they down and while they up now then called systolic blood pressure that now where the heart they push the blood come out uh you know from where they push the blood come out now you they get that pressure they that's that number there and then the diastolic one now when the heart they rest between the heart with them so when you tell the heart go boop boop that boop they with the book book that book they, they tell you say uh this is totally nine this way the thing they push the blood and then between the two beep them you get this the rest they have the rest and then you get the diastolic run so uh they can tell you so until you go to doctor tell you say your blood pressure now 140 over 90 uh which means the 114 are the systolic and the 19 are the diastolic you know but obviously they can tell you as a general rule the blood pressure we normal now 120 over 80 you know and of course they say if you go up then they want you for aim between 140 and 90 and if you go down that's not the other thing that's not low blood pressure so low blood pressure you know if you go less than 90 over 60 then they can say that in a lower one but you know just straightforward as that say we get 120 over 80 that means the blood pressure normal so somebody they can get one a pressure of 180 over 100 if you can't you an impression they 120 over 80 Clearly, you don't drop them. So you got to be careful about that. These are the pitfalls that we people can fall into. Even we as doctors, then. Somebody come to you, you say, ah, what's not the DP? They say the DP now 110 over 60. You say, fine. But you forget this, so until the original DP where you get now 180 over 100. So if you drop them, then they go cause some problems. And sometimes I make the person photo and collapse. You got to be really careful with that. So, as I say, high blood pressure, obviously, uh, then get in the way link to them, in the way they cause them, you know. The person in lifestyle, then the way they smoke, then the way they drink, or not only drink boku, but some people and the way they drink uh, too much. And then they call them binge drinking. You can go, you save one month, you not drink. Then we go now, a good drink, like say, uh, you want to let the, 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 the rum killer rather than the salary killer. You know, so you can go, go take some 10 weeks, if you don't take for 10 weeks, you take on one day. Then they can cause problems. So then people and they always they get to be careful. People and they weigh a bit overweight, you know. Then self can get, you know, uh, that thing that can happen to them. So the blood pressure can go up, they don't even know about them. And of course, then they we know the exercise. We all, as we know in the country, yeah, we know the exercise enough because we can do, you know, uh, advanced country, all thing they between you arm and you foot them. So you can easily just reach out, get your remote, you know, go out and all that, and go out, go go watch the television, you know. So you have to be really careful. And of course, um, if you not treat the blood pressure, you definitely they look at as I say from head to toe complications. Thing like heart attack, whoa, the year but then they all now blood pressure can lead to that. Thing like kidney problem, kidney failure, you know, thing like stroke, all that thing they did not in the way obviously linked to the blood pressure. Again, the blood pressure on the low side, where I say 90 over 60 or less than that, uh something then they we can cause that, you know. Uh, if somebody they not drink, you not eat, and like we some people they can dip and fast at the same time then they take blood pressure medication, clearly the pressure, the pressure can go down and that it can cause the people to begin to feel uh, they hate the turn, they begin to feel uh, lightheaded, they begin to feel weak. And if you know, uh, stop for taking medication, the heart will begin to go into overdrive and that can cause a lot more problems. Then it can cause the heart for fail as well. So you got to be careful. But before I go too deep into this topic, I just want the, uh, the host, TM, yeah, unmute everybody and make could just ask people them for C. This question now for everybody, and would I get them? Well, probably in a very clever person, so until you go get present. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the question <laughs> is, who's animal then? Or where, well, who's animal? Mm -hmm. Yeah, or who's animal? We immune to all the sickness the world over. Right. Go on, guess, let you guess. Would I know? Mm -hmm. Let you tell me. You go not so. Which animal will be immune to all known diseases? <laughs> immune to all the known diseases. One, shark. Two, turtles. Three, stonk. 
Four, lie on them. Mm. Talk to me. Yeah, I will say talk to me, Seth. Yes. Yes. Talk to me. Talk to me. Talk to me. Yes. Talk to me. Talk to me. Talk to me. Any other answer? Chuck. Hey? Chuck. Oh, my sister. Clever. Yeah. I guess so. You know that. Chuck. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, this is, I guess you guess or you know that? No, I guess. Right. I guess. Uh, Jack, yeah. Well done. You're going to have a play lot That's good. Right. Let me do all my best. <laughs> right. So we go forward. So, waiting on high blood pressure, as I said, no more. You know, uh, the blood pressure can go up. Uh, because of different reasons, and uh, people that nobody even know about that, they think that way. Now you're worrying about this. That makes them call like the silent killer. You know, uh, as we they grow, you know, baby, then get their own pressure. Now, make if you go, you can't go baby in hospital. The cough, when they look, when they use for measure the pressure in small parts, you already use for the big one. Because what you do, if you use the big one for the small picking, it will give you a false reading, and then you could begin treat that way you're not supposed for. Likewise, if you go go put a small cough and big person. Even the big one, then the hand away, big, small bit. You go put a tight cough way, small parts, the one way the arm day, uh, the size they were like that. It can cause a false reading and that can cause you for begin to treat them. So, not danger than they. Now, making nice for put them. So, picking them, then get them pressure. The, the adult, the young adult, then get them. And as they go older, now, so um, this uh, blood pressure they go. But the blood pressure, as I tell you now, is so important. That the World Health Organization decide for declare one day in the year when a world hypertension day will not be known but that the 17th of May every year now world hypertension day. So make you know. You know, just just for telling you no more. Say hypertension now world killer, now known killer. And now make you see the World Health Organization definitely decided them for declare this day so that people then will take more attention, pay more attention to their, their health and do something about them. So if we don't talk about that, we need to talk about the two types that we know about. We get primary hypertension, we get secondary hypertension. And of course, we get, uh, cold, you get uh, risk factors that we tied to dating then they, you know, the primary hypertension, for Kuman, they call them essential hypertension. That's what the doctor they can call them. Then they now, uh, take today, I don't think see anybody don't identify, don't find out which make this thing happen. So man can blame the genes, like me and papa and mama, we something then get them. If me self develop, I let me self get them. So, Clearly, a possible say the genes have got a big role for play for this thing, you know. Uh, physical changes in the body. Uh, so, Monday in kidney, uh, way small, okay, by turning it on, adult, you're fine. But then somebody will get kidney problem. Clearly, anyone can go up without, you know, even know. And sometimes that can cause some problems. And believe it or not, hypertension can present as a stroke. Where the person not may ever know about that, say, you get them. It can't to you now in the form of a stroke or it can't to you in the form of a heart attack. So it's very important for me to pay attention to that that the blood pressure they creep up on you. Now I make you see the kidney get a big role for play on this because it is in the kidney now they excrete, now they take away most of the tablet the way they take. So therefore we need to look after. And if you find out that the regular blood pressure, when you go to the doctor, it begin put you for medication. It they actually check your kidney function. If not two weeks after you begin you on the medication. You actually do maybe six weeks. And if you increase the dose, and so you go check out. Say you get and make sure say this one they work for you. And in the year, you get for go like with the motor car and they go for MOT. And that MOT they then get for check out the kidney and the work, the liver, and whether you get a um, possibility of diabetes on board that blood, blood pressure again. So that's not the primary one way nobody know no what in the cause of. Then they own, as I say, the physical activity, the physical changes in the body, and of course the genes, the one within the look for uh, uh, look into for the day. Apart from that, the secondary one, then our dandy way they develop because somebody gets a particular sick. Now, this sick, the way we know, one pandemic, the kidney, as I've been saying already, kidney disease, and one thing we can cause the blood pressure will go up. No questions about that. People that we get uh, too much weight, so then they will sleep, they sleep, now they back. You go ahead and see, then they snore, then they, they draw sleep. You know, trunk a trunk one, so then they play music for users. You know, and then you go, yeah, all of a sudden you go, and then you go, it snows, 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 then obviously you go, <laughs> And then you wake up, you know. Now, that kind of person, they're going to be careful because that person, they, they tell you, say, you get this obstructive sleep apnea. That means it is tough for breathe. And, you know, and now the brain now, they go into super overdrive for leg, get them back for begin breathe. Then people, and they, they're prone to blood pressure problems. People, they get picking their way, they bond them, they get a hole in the heart. 
if they no block them or they no you know close in time, then can develop blood pressure later on. Then people will get this thing in free tongue on a salon where we know that get in a throat, you know, goiter. You know, the thyroid in problem way overactive, it can cause blood pressure for more as well. Again, as I've been talking, the medication then we will they take, so then they they can actually get side effects and we can cause the blood pressure for go. And of course, in with that in there, people in the way they take the uh, uh, illegal drugs then, you know, uh, marijuana, cannabis, you know, uh, some might even take tramadol, some might can take amphetamines and things and all that. And of course, I don't know if you remember this drug, that kumbijara, uh, salon, Africa, women they grow up, that kumbijara, the tea where they make you like say, you just go off your head and then they can cause the internet. I would not talk about alcohol as well. Then the way they drink them too much on a daily basis, and then the way they say they go save something for 10 weeks, eight, you know, eight weeks, then they go and drink, let's say, one day for equal to 10 weeks. Then they say, then you get one gland where they on top the kidney, then where they, they uh, suppose for control the metabolism of the body and how the body they metabolize some certain uh, 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 gland, uh, certain en enzymes, then. Then they say, if you get a problem, the suprarenal gland, clearly, then they say, can cause blood pressure to go up. And then they now have for control. And then, of course, you get some tumor them, some, some cancer them, some growth them, we can cause the blood pressure to go up, like uh, insulinoma, where they produce that, you know, then in this cell. So, as I say, we don't talk about this. So, the systolic blood pressure, now the one with the, the number with the on top, ideally they say it for be 120, but you know, follow suit, like you say, you know, and the, the lower one, the diastolic one, now in the one with the bottom, then they say now 80, but that now follow like that, you see. If, your blood pressure, we then go check them, um, you know, when you go to the GP, it will actually say, ah, if you can't, can't check your blood pressure. Because some man get this thing called white coat syndrome, that we go to see doctor and begin, you have to begin, begin, begin worry, begin jump, jump up and down, that they push the blood pressure up. So if you go to the GP and then you go measure the pressure straight away, the possible say the pressure could be very high, you know. So the way for doing enough, allow the person for day, he rest, you know, calm himself down for another 10, 15 minutes before, you actually do the test, uh, the measure the blood pressure. If, however, they measure them on three separate occasions, then the pressure is still there up, then clearly they need to begin check you for test you for see whether there's a problem. And one of the main things as soon as you see, now the urine, the urine important because literally if you get a kidney problem, it will show that the urine, you know, definitely. Yeah. And of course you see um, now the cholesterol as well. Now that thing, we really like the animal beef them. You know, so man, the way he eats and plus he get like six feet on the, the plate rest. You know, when in actual fact, you're supposed to get more of salad and things like that. So cholesterol, that's really catch up with we. Then go for check that for see whether dandy they up or not. And of course, if dandy no yield any fruit, dandy no give you any answer, then so then they find for let we do uh, that uh, heart tracing, we then call electrocardiogram, e ECG or EKG. Uh, as I said just now, somebody will get a heart defect, somebody will get a hole in the heart. You know, we know we know about that. Then they can pick them up. That ECG they can pick up. And then of course, if they don't do anything, then the ultrasound, we in that machine where they use like them and we get the left, then pick it then that ultrasound they can check for check the kidney then and for check the heart. If they had the in heart failure, then then they can give the reason for make uh, the person and they can get blood pressure. If the kidney uh, again swell or the kidney shrink, then you can know from the ultrasound as well. So um as I say. Now, 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 four stages now we get of the blood pressure. So, as, as I talk about this, now 120 over 80 now the ideal one. But that not necessarily means if you get one winner, 130 over 90, that means, you know, you don't get that move. It just means it elevated a bit. Now, the way they go up, uh, a lot of things can make it go up. If you drink a cup of tea way hot, you drink a cup of coffee way up, and people the way they drink them, uh, 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 you call them then the energy drink them, you know, then they can go up as well. If you eat or you run or something, snake appear before you, the blood pressure go up. But that's, it could just go up for a certain period, then it could come down back, you know. But if you get blood pressure with the 130 to 140, way at the top one and the bottom one, 80 to 90, then they're not measuring a three term. Uh, they still difference in a so you did between 140 over 90. Then they will say this is stage one. Then if you get one way, be say be, they between 140, 150 uh, to 90, then clearly that in a stage two that because the information is different, different one. And of course, if you don't go now up to 180, that, that is systolic, the top one, 180 and above, and then the bottom one go beyond 100, as you can see, 
120, then clearly Dandy is a worrying sign. And Dandy, anybody will get that need for the Fair Hospital Road. You need to get an ambulance because Dandy, they lead to stroke. And if you get chest pain with that, clearly Dandy can lead to a heart attack. Now make you fine for making the send you in the emergency room straight for go try or bring a canton so that you don't avoid that you don't continue. As you can see, this just tell you exactly what I just did. You see, I'm, the normal blood pressure, if you see I am, you go see. Uh, they tell you, say, when you get blood pressure below 130 and 85, you for keep up the good work, yeah, and continue with uh, your heart healthy uh, habits of eating, you know. And of course, by the time you go to 140, over 90, when well, you get to make some changes in your lifestyle, you know, for bringing the blood pressure down. Uh, by the time you get to 160, imagine also 130, 140, I tell you, go to 160 over 100, you need for see a doctor. I repeat, you need for see a doctor, you know. And even if you do on medication, if you see the blood pressure, they rise to that level, you need for see the doctor for making see whether that's something that we go do for trial for bring and come down, whether you go add one more medication, or whether they will look for see anything else to happen in the meantime, what they treat you. By the time you get to 180, as you can see, to, you know, 180, clearly, then they own that you need to pursue them straight away. And um, you can see how the color then goes. So like the traffic light, green, amber, red, you need to avoid the red. If you get anything that you red, you need to go in that emergency room. You go meet me there, they wait for you. All right. So symptoms, as I say, now in Bokuman, no, no. Now the team this way, I think that the slide this way get the thing. Because Bokuman, when they can get hit that, the number no say, uh, these are symptoms of, of uh, 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 you know, hypertension, blood pressure go up. So man can in the beginning get short of breath. They find that difficult to breathe. And so then they, I don't hear some people and tell me see their nose they bleed. Yeah, then they said, even though they don't know they anything with the thin the blood like aspirin or warfarin or clopidogrel, but then they get nose bleed. Now, obviously, if you not get that uh, allergy, that uh, 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 hay fever, where they make you sneeze, 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 then you begin bleed, that's different. But if you just say you don't get that, you just begin nose bleed, then clearly you need to check the blood pressure. Again, some people are facing red, you know, flushing, that is on the other side. So man, like yesterday, I didn't know, this man had been known hypertensive, he lost five stone. If he say in, in blood pressure, don't come back to normal. So he left for taking blood pressure medication for two months, you know, and then he came to me with dizziness. I look at him, I say, oh my God, what is that? You know, when I measure the blood pressure at 180 over 100, you know, be know that. He say when you measure on a O's, now 120 over 60. So it just goes to show you, that the blood pressure can go up. Now, maybe not because you didn't have hospital will be or not, but as long as you don't get the diagnosis registered, you don't get that label that you're hypertensive, it can creep up on you when you don't know about that. So it's important to make you keep in mind. If you feel any of the symptoms there, you develop chest pain, you develop problems with your eyesight, you need to see clear, you get blurred vision. Or if you see blood in your water, where you go past water, you know, in a toilet, you see blood, I mean, clearly that's thing that they need for guide you for then you go get checked, checked out and then you get uh, for see you doctor. As I talk no more, if you know, look after the blood pressure, well, the, the blood pressure will look after you. And the way you will look after you is the cause of complication there. I, I just named this now. If you look at the top right, now yeah, you can see stroke. Yeah, if the bleeding takes place in the brain because the blood pressure shoot up, you go to 190, 200, it can cause stroke. You can see uh, now the heart, it can cause the heart for fail. The heart never for controlling itself, you know, for doing functions, so they fail, and then they can cause problems for beginning get shortness of breath. Now, make have been telling this, and say shortness of breath, now, another symptom. Again, uh, then Papa and Mama business, for we demand them, then they say, you can approach me, bad, 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 bad one. So if Monday, if they experience that thing, then they, if it for let then get check them out to see whether they get blood pressure or not. And so they get long standing, and I don't know about that. Again, it can cause blindness. Yeah? At the same time, it can cause problems with the vision. So the, the eyesight, they fail. Now make you find every African, African American at the age of 40, make you go go check in your eye because we're prone to things like glaucoma. At the same time, you get what they call hypertensive retinopathy. You know, the, the back of the eye, it is important for look at them every year. For people who we, we get blood pressure, they're nursing at that they do all year. So important. Of course, if you get chest pain, well, remember, uh, if you're not a hypertensive patient, it's possible that you're going to get a heart attack. Until proved otherwise, you need to be checked out. Again, we don't talk about the kidney. You know, the kidney, of course, can fail. And besides that, now in the main organ where they 
uh, take out all the blood, the, the tablet, then the metabolism when them done done for work, then they come out that the that the that the wee that the urine and then they come out. So if the kidney get problem, then clearly uh, the endo cell can be affected, and that can cause worsening of the, the functionality of the kidney. Again, we just talk about that the brain. Can you see? You know, you get this encephalopathy where it can cause the brain for go become unwell, confusion, headache. So man can begin get seizures, he can get that feet, you know, can get a stroke. If somebody get a compulsion where you hypertensive like definitely you need a scan for make sure say you know, don't get a stroke. And again, the blood pressure can go up to the extent it take with them the sugar levels as well. So the person can say you have a diabetic, and this is need for be looked into. I talk about this you now the hypertensive retinopathy, looking at the back of the eye every year. And of course, the heart attack and the heart failure, of course, the muscle then at the heart, if they don't work, they of course cardiomyopathy, uh, we can lead to heart failure. Kidneys then, hypertensive nephropathy, you know, and the chronic uh, kidney disease. So, of course, when you don't get this diagnosis, well, then get for treat you. You know, so um, the primary hypertension, that not the people in a way get this hypertension because they, they get them from the genes, you know, uh, then definitely the doctor could just say, well, maybe uh, change your lifestyle. You know, if you they eat too much, you know, uh, fat and salt and things like that, then clearly perhaps you need for a look at that. You need for probably uh, try for do something about your weight, exercise more, eat less, you know, uh, so that you can bring that and then they can bring the, the pressure down. But the one doing at the secondary, one day where we know, say, get different, different sick than the kidney, uh, the liver, the adrenal gland, you know, the heart and all that, the thyroid and all that. Day, clearly, then we start you on some medication. We then go able for watch. Now, that medication, they, I don't know if we will go into them, but we're not going to worry about them. The AC inhibitors, them, the angiotensin uh, receptor blockers, the calcium channel blockers, the alpha-2 agonists. Now, the AC inhibitors, you get enalapril, ramipril, lisinopril. You know, then the, and then the angiotensin two days of the, the calcium channel, and I know, but uh, I'm loaded pain, I feel the pain, you know, then in the, the and then of course the alpha two agonist, then the the way the candesartan, all my satan, and then the, so then of course they get beta blockers as well. The only way they slow the heartbeat. So, so man, if you go sometimes go for a checkup, it's easy the heart, you know, slow down now because sometimes the medication they get, but sometimes they some man can overdose on themselves, and then the heart so slow. That you know for beat like I forbid, and therefore the person will be you feel dizzy. So that kind of person they become clear enough for try for reverse the effect of this beta blocker where all man no say now by soprolol, so man know about uh, propranolol, you know, uh, atenolol self who they hear about itself self and one panel. Then you get uh, diuretics, then that they make you go past water, plenty, plenty one. Uh, then get in dapamide, then get fruzamide, and get different, different one they and then they obviously now for help for pull the extra. Uh, 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 water and this extra sodium with the, the salt within the body for making help for bring the blood pressure down. So this is now all things that they use for try to get you uh, for there you control the blood pressure. Of course, we get the home remedy that we all they talk about. You know, if you develop a healthy lifestyle, yeah, you exercise more, you use more fruits, more vegetables, you eat more whole grain, you eat more fish, and you eat lean meat, then definitely you will lose the weight. And you go definitely uh, not only prevent them, but maybe you go stall them. You go make it delay for let the stroke, the heart attack, you know, the blindness, the kidney failure, and all that. And they you will delay them because you don't develop a, a healthy diet. You know, uh, a lot of people in Kentucky say when they lose weight in that healthy way, then you find out that the blood pressure controls better and they feel better in themselves. So. As I say, again, a nice for layer, we take steps for reduce, you know, the blood pressure and for prevent the complication the way the blood pressure in high one can bring about. So you need for layer, you aim for eat more of the fruit them and vegetable them, you know. So if you aim for eat, you know, one to two uh, and increase that as the big then they go by, it go nice for you. You need for aim up to 10 servings of fruits and vegetables per day, you know, and uh, remember, Again, not to just the, um, the food way they eat, but again, that the portion them. If the portion big, like some man go, you don't go exercise, we can, can put something two ball fufu with the umbiata, well, like that, too, you know, which you born from which you put in, definitely not equal, and therefore uh, you go put on the weight. But if what you born uh, more than which you put in, definitely you will lose the weight. Remember, for cut down on the meat, and if you eat the meat, maybe one go don't do, and then the rest now, if I full up the plate, if I make you use salad, 
pendenting them, they, you know, smaller in them. But small portion, bigger salad, and not the opposite, a big, big, a big portion, and then less salad. So we don't talk about them as I say, if you see this particular slide, very good, because they tell you now exactly how the blood pressure, they see normal naya, 120 over 80. It is slightly up between 120 and 140 over 90. And then by the time you get to 140 and above, uh, over 90 and above, then clearly that's not then call it hypertension. So that one we did in between the 120 and the 140, then call them pre-hypertension. You know, that is not the dangerous one because of monkey physics, they under the mental and say they borderline. Now when the team creep up and go into hypertension, I don't know about that until so they present uh, the, the, the department with a stroke or a heart attack, you know, or maybe in ADC fine, you know. But you see, eight lifestyle them we changes with them and recommend, as you can see. Get moving. You know, the government don't decide to then go uh, put more money for cycling. I think they, they get for decide say people then get for land for cycling. So then they will not be a cycle, well, maybe ten dollars for land. Uh, if you're able, <laughs> you know, uh, focus on the nutrition, you have to eat well, you know, cut down on the salt. Now that is very important because salts they draw the water in the body and increase the blood pressure. You know, take your medication religiously. Take your medication religiously because it's important for maintaining that blood pressure. And of course, get your blood pressure checked. Every year or every six months when they call you in as a go. Remember, lose weight. Different, different ways they for lose weight. Believe me, if you eat healthily, you will lose the weight, you know. I make you fine for do this intermittent fasting. We will all they do. It's absolutely superb. You know, if you they drink, cut down on that. If you smoke, well, remember for throw away uh, the bad habits because clearly they need to help you at all. And if you stress down, well, try to avoid the negative stress there. If you're able, try and sleep well. Then did they do well for the blood pressure? No questions about that. You get massages, you get uh, yoga, tai chi, uh, deep breathing. That did they don't find out in that way they help, you know, and even the meditation. If they are able to do meditation, then clearly that they can help you, you know. Um, then I need for telling about this thing. As I say, we need to go deep into them. But if I'm for them, we don't say we sister them, we mama them, we auntie them, uh, we wef them, uh, then get this uh, possibility for develop this thing when they can get the uh, way then they carry the heat. You know, uh, this is way really dangerous because if you not take control of them, it can cause eclampsia, we can bring about complication to the baby as well as the mama. You know, I don't see people that uh, lose their life and that. And the baby clearly end up with a lot of problems when they begin grow. So preeclampsia, if you see the woman, they put on too much weight within one week to two weeks, you put a lot of weight and the blood pressure, they go up. And when they dip in urine, they see say, protein, dip and arm, they need to keep an eye on that. No questions about that. We will talk about that, you know, uh, in details, but when I need for no say, yeah, one special circumstance of blood pressure in, in high one, now preeclampsia, and then they mainly more dangerous for the mammy we get the belly and the picky with it, really can. I need for telling about dentia, 16 then women I need for no. If you not be know about this, blood pressure in high one, hypertension, a silent killer. Of all the five leading illnesses in the world, four of them linked to the blood pressure. It's a silent killer. And it'll creep up on you when you least expect that. You know, remember, you not go know until past you sent them, uh, they bring you come with a heart attack or a stroke. You want to avoid that. Believe you me, look at this bottom bit now. Yeah. Can you imagine that? Five million people them with the undiagnosed with blood pressure problem. Five million. Yeah? If you look at number three, you can see say 14 million people them. 14 million people them that the UK get high blood pressure. And amongst those 14 million, five million day, we no know say they get them. And of course, they don't diagnose them. And they don't get any symptoms so far. But one fine day, the team just creep up and then I mind that, you know. And remember, it's all a matter of numbers. Now the numbers, they might be look at. If the blood, they find that difficult for push, uh, at the heart, they find that difficult for put the blood through, through the veins and the arteries, the blood pressure will go up. So you aim for 130 over 90. At that night, the team will aim for. You know, here they say 140, 90, 140, 90. That's what they can talk Yeah, exercise. If you exercise, you go reduce your risk of the blood pressure and of course, the risk of a heart attack or a stroke. Uh, and of course, this will definitely inspire you for making it go forward. If you did drink, remember, cut down on that. 
I don't say not drink, oh, I mean the drink, but I know good tell you say not drink. Understand? Then he say he is pleasure, he that drinks with measures. So if you drink, cut down on that. And if you smoke, clearly try for you know keep away from that. So I say make I just why don't talk this day, I don't scare you now. If I'm for love and I see the thing the rain and nice thing they go eat. You know, so you get uh, raisins, them uh, 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 banana, dark chocolate. Now that don't mean so you get for go over bottle. <laughs> Now, but just in moderation, uh, alkaline water, spinach, you know, garlic, orange, uh, kiwis, and cherries, the mango, tomatoes, Brussels sprouts, all lentils, they wouldn't pick it on like for it, lentils, kale. Now, making that for level the first day with garlic, watermelon, hibiscus, and then berry, then they, as you see, the normal. Then they have this again, I think they have, you know, wild cabbage, you know, pomegranate, pistachio, down the way, like they're not there. Um, you see the vegetable and berries, beetroot. Banana, salmon, you see, they don't put beef. The salmon they put, you know, and they seed them, of course. Yeah, so I go stop now, yeah, but I take this picture for let me look at them and see. So if now one we talk on anything, any what we see by this thing, I like this slide because this slide now he actually get the figure of the shape of the heart and he actually tell you a lot about the blood pressure. So if you look at them, you want to talk about anything, by all means, please, 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 pity, please, just. Let me talk about that. But I look for one particular word where if a person get them, it will get price. If you get them more, it will get price. So when I look at them, and then we will talk about that. But I thank you very much. And I thank you, thank you. 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 Thank you, now, I'm a fan of them. Um, Dr. Kama don't present. Now, an opportunity now for ask questions. And um, when I give a ask, by the way, when I raise my hand on the tool, or when I can ask my hand, um, literally, I will go through. If I see you, and I will ask. It will be first come, first serve. So today, we first one, Auntie Victoria. Yes, you can mute yourself, ma. Okay. Um, little boy. Yeah, ma. I called you on Wednesday. Thank you so much. <laughs> I, I look forward to that. <laughs> No, I call you Wednesday just passed. I left you a message. All right. I'm sorry. I know um, I don't see that. Okay, I'll be just coming from the doctor. We did talk about this hypertension. My problem right. is I they measure my pressure at home every week. Then it's been monitored every month. But when I go measure and I ask, it's so low. And I get back to the doctor, it is way, 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 way high. Okay, eventually the doctor called me on Thursday, say I get white coat hypertension. <laughs> So what causes that? Because the way I feel last weekend, seriously, I'd be feeling like they have a stroke. But then when I go in, they measure a way, way high. But you know that concern for Sego Hospital or anything? Because you don't... Know, know. This no. one, my sister, oh, so dear, if you win the prize, not to fix, so. Not to wait, eh? Not to fix. And no, no, nothing but this world where they talk about. And the world where they look for now, it just calls so. White coat syndrome. If you look now, you can see, and they... But that's like that you will see white coat syndrome. You look what? Yes, you yes. Yeah, you see up there. I see and yes. Look at there. Uh like this. Look at white coat. Ah. Yeah. Now that's what they have been to look for. And it's so funny that the first person you for ask questions now that now you first speak up. Now now I don't I think I don't answer this question already. Where people in the go to the GP, clearly, where you the good day, now bad news you go for. Because not to say you go for let them go tell you bad news, but that's not you they expect. Mm -hmm. you know I mean? So when you yeah. go there, one way or the other, the body says itself now in the middle. Just like how if you team up before snake. You know what I mean? If, if you see snake now, now, ah, <laughs> now run in the run. You know what I mean? And then they make the pressure go up. But that now just transient. Now they, they go up for a wee while and then they can't down back. You know what I mean? The problem is if you, they measure your yawn, a low, and then when you go to the GP, a high, some team not right because we team do either the cough way they use now host, or the machine where they use now also tend to give false reading. That's not one thing can happen. Or when you reach there, you be definitely mm -hmm. the worry, and because of that, it they go up. Now I make what they do nowadays, and they make you monitor your young blood pressure. So then you leave let's like a like a, a paid with the seven days monitoring. Yes. You understand? And the best time for do the blood pressure now when you just wake up. I want people to know that because the blood pressure they go down the net. When you sleep, you relax, then you rest. The blood pressure they go down the net, and you know, and so 
when you go down, by the time you wake, the first thing you do, if you measure around that, that's not the true reading because by then you go down rest. You know what I mean? So then you have to measure around two different terms there, the morning and evening term, the morning and evening term, so that then you get a pattern. They will get a, an understanding as to which thing they happen and how things go, so that they will decide whether or not either reduce the medication we they on or increase them depending on whether I need a candle. I don't know if that they answered the question. A bit, yeah, a bit, but you know what you don't say that if you don't reach 180. Yeah. Very worrying. I was sent home. Let me make a call you that Wednesday day. Okay. It was 180 over 101. Yeah. But but when they measure I'm at the GP. No, not the GP, me on a house, it was yeah. 136 over 86. Yeah. But at the GP it was 180 over 101. You, you not be the worry about anything? Well, I don't know. Whenever I go for me, I can calm. But as soon as I reach, oh, there's a particular nurse. <laughs> I can just. I'm to Victoria while I. Well, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. Just take that stimulus. Just take that stimulus for. Yeah. That's it. Now make you see the need for measure up yeah. after you don't count up. Yeah, it. after. Mm. You know? Yeah. <laughs> don't you think you wait till say so? Mm. Now make um, search long come out, we condemn the fact, say, most times when they do research within the hospital, in mm. common course, because of the possible environment, when it first say a, a confined space for them, and uh, like a, a doctor use space. So most of the time, they research will make common force. So I make the allow say they then go away from the the, the, the the environment and they then get a clear picture of what it is they actually look for. The like quote says so that is the case. Huh? Yeah. Maybe maybe if you go to the GP, choose the day where it does not the day. <laughs> well, I will do the next time. I find yeah, that will definitely make a difference. I I I show yeah. you that will make a difference. I go ask I go ask Andy as 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 well for both guests. You get anything for add to this? Uh, yes. Hello, all man. My name is Aziza. <laughs> I go talk. I go try to talk Creole. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just yes, want. Man. I just want to add. Me um, doctor Aziza to say. I just want to add uh, for say, um, as well as the doctor go tell you say for do your blood pressure and her oats na morning and na net. What thing can tell you say now for do for seven days? Okay, you do one for seven consecutive days. So if you start Monday. Now for doing now uh, with yourself, you then now your own room, you one grain, sit down for five minutes, do your blood pressure, wait one minute, um, record the two reading where you don't do one minute apart. Do that in the morning, na net for seven days. Your GP go look am, he go average am, and he go sabi what he go on with your blood pressure. If your blood pressure high, he go tell you say okay, we get for do this, we get for do that. The all thing where Uncle Ma, Uncle Doctor Mama Kamara don't talk say, all that thing where they can do because sometimes people they where they anxious even if they they then and they all they wondering, as soon as they put the machine at their body, um, they they stress okay, they can stress. So the reading again, something not go be accurate. So you GP go give you machine where you go go na us. You they, they take them, they give you na morning. And then you get the machine, you the wear them all day, okay? And then you go do the average. Then in a, what we can call 24-hour blood pressure monitoring or ambulatory blood pressure monitoring. And then the machine go see, you go do you, what you can, you can do in a day, all things what you can do. The machine go record all the reading them and then you go average them out. And then again, based on what in the, um, the machine <laughs> tell them, say, the results, now then that result your GP go um, go by and then go give you the accurate reading. And based on now and there, they're gonna say whether yes, you get white coat syndrome or you get hypertension and they go treat you down and there. Because obviously, if they give you medication and you don't need them, then your blood pressure go go too low and then they said dangerous. Okay? So I hope say that answer your question. <laughs> and then to add to that. Mm -hmm. So after that, then get the third option way, then they actually bring you in the hospital for do the monitoring as well. No, when sir. you say you no, got a high, then can actually bring you in the hospital for monitoring as well. But that's no, uh, one then, you know. But mainly in the end of the day, where you do them one week and then obviously 
you do your own uh, monitoring hours, and then that no work, then they get for bringing up to see whether the kidney they fail or not. Little bro, you know me and hospitals. So I know, exactly. <laughs> you know me and hospitals. I don't know, sir. Okay. Uh, thank you very much, um, Auntie Victoria and Dr. Kama and Dr. Sisi. Mm -hmm. um, the next person, I get two people. Um, 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 Ahmed Fala, nine eight and four. And after that, we we'll get Kari Fala. Then we we'll go to Auntie Abiba too. So I will go to uh, Mr. Ahmed Fala first, please. I don't unmute you, sir. Yeah, try for unmute yourself as well. Yeah, yeah there you go. Ah. Good afternoon, brothers and sisters, and uh, it's a pleasure for me for joining this today. Thank you, uh, sir. Very, uh, um, for the past twenty years, I've been very good to and it won't be very, very high because I believe in Germany. And the highest was 220 to 110. So I go to several therapies. Then. The best result that we don't ever get now, 160. Mm. Then the lower vet, the lower was uh, 100. But when I came to England for the past six years, so they be the, I be the do them now. Um, and not Manchester Clinic, then because definitely I've been developed um, hepatitis, um, I said um, diabetes type 2. But last year, successfully, the front of me and the antenna syndrome, the antenna gland, they took one of the antenna glands, and then from that, now, presently, um, no need uh, and it's objectives. Are they with me? Yeah, 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 yeah. It, 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 it kind of it it break a bit. Even in Germany, they not be ever discover say my adrenal gland they produce a lot of um, unwanted hormones yeah, when yeah. 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 So I would say if the doctors they, they try as hard as possible. Because the only dose in my adrenal gland be a bit swelling when they work with the uh, magnetic scanning. Yeah, and, right. they, and when they do them, then take the um, then successfully I do an assault for um, where I, in December. From now, the highest reading was 138 and 90. But it's normal. So they advise me something like that. Uh, they advise me for take the lowest form of um amlodopine. But before I was taking the higher, the most, and they take different type of blood pressure medicine and me, even me heart, because they had me the pump too much, uh, enlargement of the heart. But now, presently, I feel good. I feel better. Very, very, very positive. Yeah. That's very good. Hey, Thank you so yes, much, Lola. Uh, uh, mm. Nice for let me get people in that way to give you the testimony mm. of how uh, things they work out for them. Now, I know one point finger from Germany. I know we mm. say a bit of work. Uh, but perhaps if you've been getting arms on ten, the size way been there, that adrenal gland problem there. I think I talk about them. Um, if you if you listen to the talk, you can see that I talk about it and the, you know some tumors them as well as the adrenal gland. I think one of the causes they have been this, the adrenal gland dependent, you know. So then they can really stop on for, for treat, especially with the kidney. Kidney and the suprarenal gland clearly difficult for treatment. Then can lead to the hypertensive crisis and then can lead to all the other things that we talk to the heart failure and the cardiomyopathy and all that. But once they don't notice them and, and don't treat them, as you say, clearly, it can bring the pressure down on you, as I say, in a testament to that. In the, so thank you for sharing with that. And you really brave for your ears. Somebody come forward and actually uh, talk about yourself. As well. But that is what, you know, this is about. Thank you so much for that. Yeah, thank you, too. Yeah. Thank you. I'm very happy to get you guys. And I hope you don't post all the... I, um, people and for letting join this thing because it's very important. Yes. Thank you so much. Thank, yeah. thank you. So much. Thank, you. Thank, you. thank you. Thank you very much, sir. Um, the next person we will go to uh, Mr. Karifala. Mr. Karifala, I don't unmute you. Try and unmute yourself as well, please. Okay. Why do you try to do that? I will go to Auntie Abi. Auntie Abi Bato. I don't, know. Know. I don't, I don't know. Okay, okay, Auntie Abby, you wait. Yes, Mr. Kalifala, go ahead, sir. Okay, uh, uh, my name Kramo Dabo, I call from London. Okay. Uh, thanks very much, Dr. Kamal, for this great insight into you know, them problem that way. I believe to say most of we get, but we don't even know, and we know it's that serious. Uh, the only thing I want to understand is, you know, is there any way where the opticians, where people that can get eye problems, good opticians, be able to make you know, say you get 
problem like that, and they, because you talk about the retina or uh, this when hypertensive retro, retropathy or whatever, I don't quite understand. Yeah, retro, but, yeah. Yeah, when you go to you to you to you to you to your opticians for eye yeah. test, yeah. is there any way where they can able to get any 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 hint of that for letting them be able to recommend you for for let go see your GP? Because like we they say nine million people there already or five million people they don't know nothing about this. Say they get hypertension, they go about her. And this time it's silent killer, like I say. You know, and most of which then they can go to with, with opticians. They're not able not at all for letting give you hints for letting you go for something. Well, I mean, the, the optician, we just said, where they go to medical school? I think uh, 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 Dr. Aziza could actually bear me witness. Uh, one of the things that we can come to exam uh, uh, recognition of uh, problems with the, 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 the eye, you know, the, the retinopathy, you know, like. Uh, uh, when the person they get that kind of problem there, so they get a detached retina way, they see like veil there in front of them. All that in the day are part of the symptomatology, the symptoms and way uh, the blood pressure goes. So the optician clearly foresee that back of the eye, they foresee how we did. If the disc, the optic disc actually clouded and actually blurred, it's supposed to say that. If the pressure that the eye high, it's supposed to say that. So clearly in need for him to recognize that, and send you to the appropriate uh, ophthalmologist and the doctor. We will actually look into that and see and measure the pressure and look at the back of the eye. You know, so Monday, as I say, uh, most of the Afro Caribbean people then they're prone to glaucoma. So everybody at the recommender to at the age of 40 and above, please make them a habit for the go see optician because you can see. So glaucoma get any link with hypertension then? Well, the blood, the pressure in the eye they go up. I see. That's the thing with it, and that nine because it's blindness, nine because it's headache, nine because it's pain in the eye, and the happening of the eyeball itself, and of course the blurring of the vision with the eye very red. You know, oh. that's how it is because it, it pressure go up, then they block the the, the the secretion of the the tears, the, the water where they cry, that water where they come out, they get that uh, kind of, they call them uh, slam canal, that canal of slam that the water they pass they come out, so then they can block because the pressure that the eye go up. And if you go up, you block them, then clearly. The pressure will begin to go up, and that will cause uh, problems with the eyesight. So, therefore, they need to do something for bringing the pressure count up. If they need to bring them with the tablets down, something that they can need to do surgery about it. But you need to avoid that kind of thing because it's not too well avoidable. Okay. Thank you very so much. For Thank you very much, sir. For, know, for recognize the signs of retinopathy, especially either diabetic, uh, either diabetic retinopathy or hypertensive retinopathy. Okay. That's great. Thank you so much, Dr. Thank Kamal. You. Thank you, sir. Um, Dr. Aziza, you want to say anything? On, you want to add anything? I just been want to say, talk uh, about, because you're then in London, and you say, okay, the opticians, sometimes they can tell we say about we are then if we pressure high. I just been want to talk about NHS health check where they, uh, again, so if, um, what can happen in England or the UK, they get this thing called NHS health check where your GP go invite you when you age, uh, when you don't turn 40, 50, 60, 70, they go invite you to do all them check there. So until you don't get any symptom, Uncle Mama, Doctor, Uncle, Uncle Dr. Kamara already talks in a silent killer. So now that make now the UK, they can invite people then for come, whether you get symptom, whether you don't get symptom, and then they go check all things. And, and now they, Boku people then, they, they don't find, say, they get high blood pressure. So it's important for attend then thing then say so if you think say oh I know get nothing I know go go I know um, not a problem eh then the morning me this GP uh, ultimate then they send me letter now for yari them now for go now for attend because now that now that way they they go no say whether you get um, high blood pressure. Oh, okay, thank you very much. <laughs> thank you very much, man. So now better than cure definitely. Yeah, now advice then they say we all go for go for MOT. We talk for 50, 60, We all go for MOT check. Okay, thank you very much, ma. Um, and thank you very much, uh, Mr. Kawifala. Um, Auntie Abby. Auntie Abby Batu? Yes, hello. Yes, ma. Yeah, Mr. Abby Batu. And they listed the program and the follow-up. Yes, ma. They tell you, thank you. Say very, very educative. Thank you. Mission. Me now, one post, we never know if say me get pressure. Not on TV. Mm. So they can't say medical examination. 
So now they now they go tell me say, fantasy. So they treat medicine and they have the drink. Continue for me medicine and say I go the edge. But when I go there, I experience it. I feel unwell after the ritual. Like the dryness and me too. Feel the heat, feel sick, they feel weak. So, but I go to the salon because I go to the at time and the same medicine they no more than they give me. Na mi room, na mi. You know me ever get I don't know. Now I left for take them and they have a way that people are giving me. So I stop for take the pressure medicine the way they give me. And I want to stop for one week, two week. I feel I since I begin feel better, but I begin feel okay. So now that day, say all the door we can't salon. I can't explain to me, doctor. So now I say medicine the way they need. You know, they're not fit to you, not know, good with you. So it changed now. So I'm loading pin with what it takes. So from that, you know what it takes. Um, you don't get any problem. Okay. So I'm glad you because I have knowledge on waiting doctor. Don't say. Okay. So I tell you now. Thank you. Yeah, thank you very much, man. Thank you. Um, if I'm pull them just for um, say you know just for clear um, clarify with me and TBDC. Basically, um, they may diagnose them, they may put them on some certain medication. But their medication they they're not being good with them. We only find that out when they go salon. Like doctor check and realize the, the medication we take is not right for them. They change the medication. They are something else. Um, doctor Aziza and doctor um, Kamara, when I get anything for say to people um, regarding the type of medication them and how um, um, they can deal with anything. Like well, I mean, I go left and uh, as is a deal with that because I ain't a GP and they deal with them thing in the mainly. We know they uh, begin person for medication for them thing. We know they start them on medication. We actually they look after them when the blood pressure go up sky high to the extent they actually go call it to a stroke. Then we can intervene and do something. We'll give them medication for bring and kind down nicely and smoothly. You know, if you get too low, obviously, as I say, one thing we we'll have to talk about now, either low pressure or high pressure, who's one pound the two better? Now, for me, it's definitely better uh, for me, uh, I get the low pressure because then they, I can just put some fluids, for now. if my blood, I put blood, the pressure will come off or I tilt the base, you know. But with the high blood pressure, I tell you what, <laughs> it is difficult to determine whether anything will do. And you know, fine for me, you bring a cut down sharply, acutely. It can cause a lot of problems that the brain, the brain can swell and a lot of things. So important for a lay, if anybody chooses, you choose a low blood pressure rather than a high blood pressure. I make you fine for maintainer. But we in the A and E department, we need to commence, we need to begin people them power. We need to start them on medication. We actually they, they control uh, the blood pressure rate up. Now more the GP than they control that in the room. Okay. Uh, okay. thank you. I'm glad, so, you for, I'm glad you for hearing this question because you know, say when you take medication, because you they put something on your body, all, all kind of medication, they do different things for different people then. So people then can see, hey, I don't take this medication, you know, suit me. I know they take them again and then they stop them. And then you know, continue for take them. So t- time go past where blood pressure go high, high, high. And then all there is there where uncle Dr. Kamara don't talk about stroke, heart attack go happen. So what we can do, we can give the medication to the patient and we tell them, say, try it for the next month. We go review you and see how you, uh, uh, what in the app. And we go tell them, say, what you can get. So for instance, if they start you uh, on ACE inhibitors, so then in a like Ramipril or Lisinopril, we go tell you, say, you know, say, you know what can happen? Sometimes you go get cough with this medication or other people may, uh, may get uh, nausea and then they don't go feel fine. But usually, not, not just the beginning stages for the medication, what you do take them, because your body, they get used to them, eventually all things go fine. But if you see, say, oh, you're not go able, you're not go manage with them, call your GP, tell them, say, look, I did get this, I did get beaucoup problem with this medication, it don't suit me, what thing I get for you? Beaucoup different medication there where your GP go say, okay, let me try this other one. Because if we left you where you know they take any medication, the risk is too high. So what you, what you go advise, no stop your medication, call your GP, tell your GP, look, this is not the problem. In this medication no suit me. And then your GP go um, advise you for other medication where, where go help. I'm loaded pain with when a calcium channel blocker. It can cause swelling now, people in foot um, as well. Okay. And some people say, uh, you know, you know, they fit them. 
So it go try you know, with different medication. So then now, now what we can do? <laughs> I hope that they answer your question. It sounds like say that now that they what it, now that they GP do self as well. Yeah, sorry yeah, about me, Creo. <laughs> yeah, no, absolutely brilliant, Noel. The, the other thing we can like do, I think uh, research don't find out uh, from the Afro Caribbean people them. Uh, one like this, I'm not the calcium channel blocker. Only you know they work so no more. Like you need for combine them with another one. Most of the time you do, they use that ACE inhibitor, either lisinopril or captopril or something like that. And that they make it work. So if one not work, they will keep you know them give a monitor. You keep an eye on you. We we'll see. Make sure safety not go overboard because if you go too high, it can cause problems. So then keep then get for begin monitor you for see how this thing they work. If one not work, so then go for add another one. So then you make you see some man get two tablets them we combine or one tablet with another so then you then you need for put a uh, water tablet like that in dapamide or maybe prosomide and things you know so if you take amlodipine and then they put them this well then they can give you something with a mild one for help you with that swell quickly because then they can uh, make people and begin get difficult to work out you know so one way or the other then get for balance amount now that not the way they can do it but they need for just monitor you and i go advise you not for stop or take the medication without the, the consent of the doctor without the doctor, I don't know what you do for they try to get you for something else where you do better for you. All right, thank you so much. Thank, thank you, you very much. Um, yeah, I get anti Jaya too. I don't mute you, ma. I'm trying to unmute yourself as well, please. We hear you. Right. Yeah, there we go. Hello, Dr. K. Hi, everyone. Oh, look at that. I honor the invitation. <laughs> This is Jerry, you from the um, from Delaware. Actually, um, myself, my practitioner, where they work in the emergency department, also intensive care um, units. Uh, what thing I don't see from we African brothers specifically is that these people are so afraid of taking blood pressure medications that it will come in hypertensive crisis most of the time because of what it does, the other risk factors that he has. Um, their feeling of importance. And I think that is something that we need to address with our African brothers. This is what brings them in all the time. Then go provide the medications for them, but just for letting all feel like, man, it's a big issue. And I think we need to address that in our community. Thank you so much for that. Uh, thank you for sharing with us. As I say, so Monday, not that free day, you know, so man would prefer you take that uh, country medicine, take that bang bang, that uh, 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 cascara, or, you know, that kind of thing. And clearly, <laughs> not to that kind of thing, you know what I mean? We need to establish what is the cause of the blood pressure. And if it means you get to take tablet, well, I'm sorry. Me when they talk to Nanaya, you know, because he didn't have the that he said, at some point in my life, I've been going for take and that's it. Not to tell you, I want to do both. I need for do that because otherwise I might end up with you know, uh, a stroke or something or whatever or heart attack. And so, you know, you I look at the benefits versus yourself. the risks, then clearly you need to make up your mind. Not to tell anybody wish on anyone, but I, I need for Arjuna, for telling her, see, clearly this thing is a silent killer. I need to overemphasize, I need to put spread on her heart. This thing is a TV to keep up. Somebody, I think, just asked the question. Whether the blood pressure of a 30 year old yes. is high compared to the person with a 50 year old, not the same, but well, clearly not. If you get a 30 year old with blood pressure at 150, clearly you need to get that. <laughs> you know, it's important. But this, believe you, you know, take it from me, believe you me, this is a silent killer and it kills a lot of people. And the people that we know, not so they get them, now they boku, now make you see it worrisome. So please, please, please get checked. And as how, as these are the talkam, 40 year old, 50 year old, 60 year old, if they invite you for your annual MOT, make sure you attend, please. It is important. It could be a lifesaver for you. Thank you very much, sir. Um, Auntie Sigugi. Sigugi. Sigugi, yes, ma. Unmute yourself, ma. Hi. Um, thank you, Dr. Kamara, for your um, you, um, you input. I mean, just want for ask no more. I get one or two questions, but one for the one for ask. Now, the side effects of the medication, then, with whether the ACE inhibitors, the beta blockers, them, and the other waiting self them, whether they get different side effects, or they all get the, almost the same side effect. Where if we possibly take the medication, the, that, that the different type of medication is also, you know, the, the diuretics then they get three types then. 
you know, then get the immune side effect clearly, then they wash away some of the sodium and then in the way, and then they way they, they protect the potassium way that we need for the the body to work proper. You know, of course you get side effects now, definitely when you look, as I, as I talk about you know, the, the, the benefits and the, the risks, now you look at, if at all the risk then too much for you, that like for example, I give you an example, this is not to the same topic, but people the way they take uh, statins, you know, ada, silver statin, ada, statin for the high cholesterol. You find out, say, some man, they tell you, say, I'd rather die than take silver statin because what do, the pain where they feel, now my body is so much that I'd rather die. Now, such a person, you definitely not go one time for leg, not taking medication. Therefore, when they compromise, you as a doctor, I guess, for actually reach out to her and try for gear and something else, we go suit him, but just like how, as it is, you know, you need for monitor you. So when you start you on that, you go watch for the side effects. If the side effects them not tolerable, yeah, then clearly they will look for alternatives. Then they different, different alternatives, different, different combinations, then we go walk. But for say you not take them at all because of the side effects, well, I tell you what, I don't think they give yourself any favor then. I can tell you that for free. The side effects then they I believe you me, water self they drink get side effects. If you drink too much water at one go, it can end up killing you. Yeah. I don't see somebody die because he drink five liter water inside five minutes. Mm. Yeah. So what I say, say, say for the drink when a natural thing, it's like a side effect and clearly it can cause you a lot of problems. No questions about that. But you need to consider your health. You need to consider the benefit versus the risk. Then. If the side effect we can put up with, then I would say go with that. Rather than not deal with the blood pressure because you don't know when you go attack it. Thank you very much, sir. Okay. Thank you Thank very you. much. I hope say the water you not mentioned because you see at the beginning quarter. No, I don't think I'm <laughs> Thank you very much, sir. Um, the family we get another 15 minutes, so um, I look forward to more questions. Um, anybody get anything else for add? Say something. The panel? Yes, sir. Mr. Cissi. Yes. Yes. Um, I, I, I just want to say, say myself and I, I come on a family of risk factor. You understand? Okay. I, I lost my daddy through this same condition. So, myself, I can I get the opportunity to say, okay, I get the chances to get them tested and everything. I make sure say I hold on to her. But before that, honestly, at one point, I get a dizziness. I, I had no awareness of what would happen. And when I get checked, I get rushed straight away to the ambulance department and get the hold me there until they bring that car down to a minimum control before the next week I'm So, like, I spent almost the whole day in the hospital. So ever since, as I say, the side effects to me, yes, they're there, but the benefits for now outweigh all that. So it's very important when you come up and then continue the low make sure say, we continue to take the medication. And I think they are also eager to know more where uh, Dr. Kamara called the, the initiative say we want to present this, this program today. So I'm so happy for, for, for delivery in this fashion. And I'm so happy to say, you know, everybody will give a contribution to so other people in back way don't show off, obviously, their own insight to what it is already about. So I'm very, very happy. I thank you very much. And thank you to the team as well. As I say, look the hand up. So I'll give chance to say something. Now, okay. I just want to ask, man and woman, which one, or is it, the, um, would I get more uh, high blood pressure, man and woman? Because that is very, very important for like we know. Yeah. Not so for say let the woman feel complacent or let the man feel complacent, but at least look get us if we get, get that statistics there, so at least we know. Um yeah, most, most of the most of the young women then then can get low blood pressure normally. Uh, yeah. Pass on ten, then take him, then conceive, then get belly, then they carry on. Now make it fine for let you monitor that blood pressure there. As the human take in. You find out, say, by the time you go to 20, 25 weeks, then we'll begin monitoring the blood pressure. See how you put on the weight. If the weight's too much, in one week, until you put on five uh, pounds or something or five kilos, clearly, then go watch the blood pressure, watch the, the, the urine, make sure, say, uh, protein, not the pan. And if they see, say, they go up, clearly, then go for admit them and monitor them because, as I say, it affects the baby, that preeclampsia. And of course, I, I forget for telling you, I say, normally, when the, the baby born, uh, the blood pressure can go back to normal as it were, and that's what they expect. That. But if that baby day, the blood pressure will go so high to the extent it begin cause uh, then seizure, then they, there's no option but for do emergency surgery and section. But then they say, we don't do am now any, we will get for do straight away because otherwise that woman will follow some. No questions about that. We get for bond the baby, 
the emergency session, and then, of course, from there on, uh, begin monitoring my man. You get for keeping at the uh, ITU for six days, seven days. But normally, by 10, they get to uh, menopause, as you know no more, that particular dreaded M day, M word day. <laughs> As they reach to that, then the pressure can begin to go up. So now they go up exactly the same way like how the manual they go up. So now that you get for keeping in mind, that make by 10, then get to between 45 and 55. You then get for think about, you know, keeping an eye on the blood pressure. So Monday before that, so Monday now after that, you know. But mostly the young woman then, they can get low blood pressure. So if they come to you with low pressure, that now normal. Thank, Thank you. Thank you very much, Doc. Um, and say, Aziza, you want to add something to that? Yeah, uh, yes, um, absolutely correct. Um, recently, I've been looking at the World Health Organization. They, 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 they talk say the African community, they get the highest, the highest proportion of hypertension. And they, they talk say between man and woman, no? then the same, the, the, the level is basically the same for men and women in the African community. So it's really, really high risk for us um, and this is why we really need to take care and be careful because blood pressure, hypertension is highest with us. And it's something that needs to be dealt with seriously. <laughs> Thank you. Um, Auntie Victoria. Yeah. Yeah. You hear me? Yeah. Yes, ma'am. Okay, little boy, you say something just about water tablets and everything, potassium level. <laughs> But me find out that they take water tablets, I think bendo fluorizone, then stop yeah. me because it depletes me potassium level. Yeah. So I may be confused just now when you say I think the water tablets did help them. Um. Yeah, yeah. The, the water tablet then, I mean they did different different ones. As I said, now three types then they if you ask we can talk about that, but I don't think so we'll get time for talking about No, 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 no. I've been just they asked because I think yeah, you say something about the water tablet. Yeah, no, yeah that's it. You see, when they give the one way they protect the potassium. Then you can just take away all, and mostly that the sodium now they go. Oh. And they can take the potassium as well. If the oh. potassium gets low, like yesterday, the mother bring to me your potassium at two point five. Clearly, I know people for send and go. Maybe do I want send them, but a ninety six year old man, there's no way you go up two point five when the normal now between, <laughs> you know, uh, four to six or four to four point five or five to five. Clearly, it make it a bit difficult for me for actually send and go because he come in with muscle weakness. And that's what the potassium does. So normally we can just say, okay, go home, take one banana. Banana is a very rich, uh, 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 if you like, source of potassium. Really good, especially when we're not too red. You know, you take one a day, that's really good. They go help you. But if you take something where they take the potassium away in the week, then perhaps they need to give something where could protect the potassium. Now I make them go give you uh, potassium, uh, uh, potassium diuretic, uh, potassium sparing diuretic, then call you know, we go help you with that, really. But that, as I say, the GP then they in control. As I say, I see, uh, Dr. Aziz, they know they had, you know. <laughs> it's just, uh, so yeah, it just top them. Um, no, it say eat one banana a day. And that, that's it. That's what I'm saying. A banana is a very rich source of, of potassium. So clearly, if you suffer with that, and I, and I make you see, if you watch, all that they play tennis, a banana, then they eat most of the time. Because it's not only calorific, but they get the nutrients they're putting they want for let them carry on with their strenuous exercise and, you know, their healthy lifestyle. You see, that's it. Okay. Thank you very much. Right. Dr. Aziza, you want to add anything? Ah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Auntie Jaya too. Yeah, hi. Um, the other thing, well, honestly, um, we are find very difficult in the community is the fact that most of our people not they try for participating in anything way concerning black people um, for especially in this hypertension uh, um, modem. We can get a lot of sessions where we invite Africans for let them participate for things that will, at least if they do any research, what will benefit them, they do not participate. Do not participate. No, because then don't hold on to this uh, factor, okay? Whatever which man they do, it bad for them. But if they're not participate, there's no way. Because, seriously, we don't evolve from the African-Americans to Africans, we are Africans, and indigenously we are Africans, and there are other genetic factors within for taking into consideration for develop a lot of things, but Africans don't participate. If we get people to get involved in research participation, it doesn't even matter if you get for take medication, but just let them know your ethnicity, that is going to help us a great deal. And I think they will get for dispatch that information, they told brother and sister them, let them get this notion, say, 
we are the ones who are suffering from this disease more than anybody else. But if we participate, it will be better for us in the long run. And that not let me just me input. Thank you very much, Matt. Not too, not too. Solid point you made. Absolutely vital point. You see, the apathy amongst the people that we, you know, ironically, now we deceive they affect more, and now we they affect more. Yet now yep. they pay attention to this thing, and that is the exactly. thing. Exactly. This topic will help for revisit them again, you know, again and again. And we need for sensitize people, and we need for create that awareness to people. Like, make them know, say, now then we they think about it. Because otherwise, we all do what we get for do. But I tell you what, it's important for making you know, somebody tell you say, this thing they kill. I tell you what, be good enough for listening to them and try and do something about it. Because you know they want you. And we're not going to spare life in the box. If we can get that able, like the world, nine that too. So, but when you watch we people, them, the, 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 the compliance, you know, the participation with them get well clinic, well man clinic, in particular the well man them. You man them, they can do well so far, you know, well woman clinic can thrive. But we, the well man them, now we, we blokes, you know, we the blokes say macho. Ah, in the day, which is I put yeah, forget about that. And I tell you what, that apathy, man can spell disaster. No questions about that. So we need for send the message to people, make them know. Is it the stroke you want or control the blood pressure? Is it the heart attack you want or control the blood pressure? Is it the kidney failure you want or control? And I'm sure if you go to talk to somebody where they're on dialysis for kidney failure, they go tell you, say, you get lost. Mm -hmm. You understand? If you go talk to somebody where, yeah, for day, I know one of my colleagues, all day they run. This guy, if he's here, features anything else, they get that thing with call widow maker. If they, they do exercise, they begin to feel this chest pain. Believe you me, I got that for me. And because it be actually very, uh, uh, meticulous, very, very, you know, uh, intelligent guy that you go, then go. Then. Now, now, at the age of 41, you don't get the stent. But when you look at it in cholesterol, that is 7.5. Do you see what I mean? So, these are the things. Now, then see how we need for the talk. You understand? Go, go talk to somebody who don't get the stroke. They see, maybe they talk to you, they talk, they laugh. Now, he can't even understand you. We need for begin listening to yourself. It is important. I cannot stress it enough. Thank you very much, sir. Um, I, I can I add one answer, quick? Yes, ma. Yes, I just wanted I just wanted to say that um, absolutely this is something that's really important, um, and also to to say that actually getting a stroke or heart attack and dying would probably be better than living with the debilitation of the complications. Super. So if we can prevent it from happening at all then we would be winning. But if we do end up having it, but we can control it by listening to um, the advice, lifestyle measures are such a big deal. You can make such yeah. a massive difference just by exercising, eating healthily, um, and taking, and, and um, yeah, eating healthily, exercising, not smoking, minimizing your alcohol intake. These are all things that you can do even without medication to make a difference in your life. Thank, Thank you, you very much. You better way you touch on that before. Because I get I get some of my people and I have a personal people into me. Them alcohol, hmm. I will stop and no more. <laughs> so um we don't get um five minutes left. <laughs> so I'll go to Auntie Gugi, then Auntie Jaya too, as you hand it up, then um then we'll go wrap up for the day. No, we, we, actually the, the previous speaker just touched on the point where I want to uh, uh, elaborate on about exercise alcohol abuse and things like that because we they see a lot of people just like dr kamara say where they come with kidney dysfunction and where you tell them what's not the risk factor they say, oh no i did they take one alcohol i did they take one drink and you do that every week <laughs> you know what I'm say? every day when you take one you put yourself at the potential of throwing yourself in the well you know that one <clears> drink <throat> every week they go you know it just they push you further into the uh, <laughs> into kidney dialysis and yeah. we get for tell people in that and we've seen uh, personally i don't see friends when are younger people than i am believe me he 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 breaking seriously even with this covid yeah where there are a lot of people who for say but because of comorbidities you cannot be the only person standing there to talk um for these people i'm like okay now nah. first of all they don't tell you say the they were non-compliant. Non-compliant, what should you do for them? They're not going to left person where they're for raise one as somebody on a 30, 40, with you on a 60, you're not be non-compliant because you say, okay, you know, they listen, then go save you. They're not doing that. They're not they do that. So people and get for understand, say, you get for take the um, fact, now you, now you own person. Like Dr. Kamara said, you only have one life. And if that and they go, now go, you go, so... And we are losing so many people 
believe me. I, I, I can tell you the statistics. Now that work that they pass on, it's a lot. Africans, we have to listen. And they're not afraid again because this systemic untrust wouldn't get. Yes, it's, uh, yeah. Prior to now, we not been getting exposure. But now with all of us, I think we people need for listen and we for engage them more. Definitely. Thank you. Definitely. So great yeah, mind think, quick, uh, great quick. mind think alike. Um, Auntie yeah. Aliza, Auntie Jaya too. Well done. Yes, right. Auntie, you will be, be the last one that we yeah. have for today. For, for me, all what they talk so, if for fine for like all them talk here, they talk so. I hope it they reach in a salon as well. Right. You understand? Because exactly. a lot of people and they then they lost their life in a salon as mm. well. With all them things I saw where they happen to we will we, they talk so now. Mm. You understand? Say mm. like sexual dysfunction, where you happen in a salon to the man, the man that they know for say something because he gets hypertension. Now you know they remember for say something because you get high blood pressure or anything. So you're not get nothing for measure waiting the happen to them. So I go, I, mm -hmm. I hope say all the way to the talk so we at least we the, this part of the world. We get a health promotion, health promotion, health promotion. But Africa Salon, so it did it, but it's not better. We no need better. A, mm -hmm. hope, I hope say it will reach people in a salon. Because some people in the drop dead, they say, oh, now do them do them. Now, now that could um, away go cost you again. I know make it don't, don't die so today. <laughs> oh my God. And it wasn't. It's because something has happened. You know, so I hope say we go able to drive this, especially when it comes to health. Drive and go in a salon, let people they understand who they talk real. So then they will make them understand them easy, will break them down even to the, the, the smallest of real, not broken to them, so that they will understand how to look after themselves. Thank you very much, ma. If I'm with them, Naime could try to do this show in Creo. I know some of you will not polish again like some of you are back up. It's right. It's our. It's our. So, uh, Dr. Kamara, so I'll come to you for a roundup for people, and then we'll go say bye bye for this week. Why not, Dr. Kamara, get for a roundup? Yeah. Okay, and did I hear too? Now you will round up for me today. I will come to you. Yeah. I owe you. It's a joke. It's a joke. <laughs> yeah, that's a cover. <laughs> this talk, don't you talk over done now one day? We'll definitely revisit this one. And I say I get uh, I make I divide the talk to two. You don't get a chance to talk about the second part. But I'll be just one left now with this this photo, this poster make when I see this bottom bit as when I can see. You see the normal blood vessel. Look at how the how the blood they flow normal. You see how this one they struggle because of the the, the plaque way they you know that fat way lay fat family was up. How they struggle like that they make the blood pressure to go up, you see. So if we will for control that, we will for stall that, we will for reduce that, we will for maintain that if we get them, clearly that they could take a long time before it goes to any problem at all. But uh, in as for let we know say the take home message for me, hypertension, high blood pressure, and a silent killer. So do yeah, try for kill them before you end up killing you. Thank you so much. Thank you very much, sir. So me fumble them, do ya if you need maybe because of this post and a, a valuable one, if you need to see all the pictures and properly. I can say let you know, reach out to we in we email. Um, we will send on a post there so we will look at properly and when I feel free for ask any question. Um, Auntie Jaria, to you get anything you want to say as a last word to people that have been promised they come to you? Um, <laughs> actually, a very good discussion. Just like the last speaker said, so we get, really get for educate with people in Africa yes, because, so of course, most of we don't get somebody who don't have hypertension. My dad did. They not be even understand. And the fact say we get for psychologically change their mind. Change their mind from this, um, then do me, then back by me, then this that to I mean, come on, that has to stop. It definitely needs to stop for we get but anyway, we're not for blame them too. We government need to do more. That's all. Absolutely. Thank you very much, man. Thank, thank you. All right. Thank Thanks. You so Bye. 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 Thank you. Thank you, Mommy. Thank you so much. That's what he said. Get the last one for people. Before it kills us. Before it kills us. Thank you very much. Well, me fumble them. Now, Manchester, London, well, the whole of the UK, Europe, Middle East, and me people in our salon. And everywhere else in the world, we tell on our thank you for when I joined me today. Unfortunately, we don't run out of time. Anything that is life, we get for come to an end. We'll tell on our thank you. We'll see you now in a fortnight. Next week, we'll not get sure. But the week after, we will get. I will make sure so I bring, we will bring out the flyer very early so we'll be able to remind you now. But I want to thank you very much. We really do appreciate you. On all good night and